All right, guys, we are good for Derek. Shelty, what led you to pull Will Crow when you did? Uh, it was the 10 pitch at bat. You know, Lopes had a 10 pitch at bat. We sent him back out. I mean, we let him hit. He was at 72. He was pounding the zone. Uh, but the fact that that at bat got that extended, and then all of a sudden, you know, we have uh, we have the tying run on. So we went to Bednar. Uh, if he was, you know, if he gets him more efficiently, then he probably gets another hitter. But he did a nice job. I mean, first inning, I thought his tempo was off a little bit. And then he really locked it in and was extremely efficient, commanded the zone, slider was good. It was just that with the length of that at bat. So if his pitch count was at, you know, I would, uh, what, 85, 87, um, do you regret not pinch hitting for him then the inning before? Or what What led you to not pin? I, I did, yeah. Yeah, he, well, he was at 72 and he was efficient. So to go to your first question, you know, we were uh, we were planning on running him through. He was at 72. It was the fact that that at bat got extended that long. Eric, what about a, a 10 pitch at bat sort of took so much out of him? I mean, he's already this deep into the game. I, I mean, just what is it about that at bat that really did him in um, just in that spot? Well, the fact that he fouled off about five pitches, uh, just a pure, pure execution of it. And then also mentally, it's challenging. Was there any concern about going through the order a third time as well? Did, did that factor into it at all? No, not at all. So you addressed this a little bit last night, but you've had that problem of getting the pitching and the hitting in sync, the, the starting pitching and the hitting. I mean, today, today you get a strong start from Crow, but your bats really don't come through for Yeah, I mean, we we had opportunities today and, and left people on base. And, you know, we, we ran into a situation where we had a hit and run and we lined out. Uh, you know, but we just, we, I think we left what, eight, nine guys on base. We just, we left too many guys on base. Chelsea, what'd you see differently from Crow this time out versus the last two times out where he kind of struggled to get deep into the games and gave up quite a few runs? Uh, command of the fastball and his tempo. And, and I, I credit him because his tempo, the first inning w was not very good. And he made a really nice adjustment, kind of sped himself back up uh, after a conversation with Oscar and Stalls. And, and the, because of the fastball, Everything else played off it better. We uh, we we heard lower back tightness for Colin Moran. Do you know anything further? No, he, he spasmed up running from from second to third. Uh, when he went out, when I went out and talked to him, he felt like he was all right. When he came in off the field, it just continued to stay in spasm. So we got him out of the game. I mean, he's day to day, so we'll evaluate him tomorrow. Hey, Derek, we didn't have a chance to talk to you after Cole talked yesterday after pitching. And he made this big uh, mention about the balls being sort of like pearls, he kept saying, throwing. Did he say anything to you about that, or did any of the other guys complain about the balls in this series? Yeah, uh, there's been conversations about the balls in this series, and, you know, maybe they're a little slicker than most places, but, you know, the ball's the ball. Both teams are throwing them, and, and we have to adapt and adjust with that. Healthy Bednar's uh, outing kind of continued a trend of some of your more reliable guys um, getting into some some trouble spots. Did you see anything really worrying about that? It looked like they were just aggressive on two first pitches that he kind of left center cut. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the last part of that, Jake, if you look at the breaking ball to Urias, it's middle-middle. And if you look at the split to Garcia, it was middle-middle. And when you leave balls, you know, in the middle of the plate in the big leagues, they're going to get hit, and, and both of them got hit. Shoddy, I know we're talking about Christian Yelich here, but uh, were you surprised at all that they went left on left against Howard uh, and get the sacrifice fly there? No, that's why Howard was in the game. We figured he was going to Yelich there, and and you know we uh, we wanted that matchup. So no, I was not surprised at all. If you got Christian Yelich on the bench, you got that weapon. You fire the weapon. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you guys for coming back momentarily. All right, guys, we're good for Will. Well, I know you only pitched um, one inning of game action when you were in Indianapolis. How did you stay ready for a start, and what were some of the things you were trying to work on down there that kind of translated today? Yeah, um, you know, kind of getting that rest was probably big for me. The The one inning was kind of go out, have fun, you know, just in, in enjoy baseball, you know, not, like, stress too much about it, you know, and just have, a, like – 
you know, bring that kid out of me. And um, I think that helped because today I just went out there and just had kind of had the same mindset and uh, was able to just be free. And, you know, we get to play a kid's game for a living. So um, I, uh, I, I got to use that as a mentality. And then while I was down there, you know, um, I did a lot of stuff with like water bags, I guess uh, is a way to put it. Um, it's more of staying in my back leg. Um, I was getting kind of jumpy is a way to explain it before, which was creating the cut, which was creating the um, inconsistency in the strike zone. And um, being able to stay on that back leg really helps me ride the slope and stay through, you know, stay through stall or Mikey, whoever it may be, and uh, really be able to command my, my pitches to both sides of the strike zone instead of it cutting or me pulling off. Well, uh... Sheldy just said about you know the first inning of the first two batters you faced got hits and then they talked to you after the uh, after the inning about changing adjusting your tempo and speeding up your pace. Can you kind of give us an idea what that conversation with uh, Oscar was like and, and what adjustment you made that kind of you know allowed you to retire the next fifteen? Yeah, it's just um, just getting into the game. You know, uh, with um, the start of the game, you don't want to get too fast and you know be go, go, go. And so you kind of throttle it back because you don't want to, you don't want to be getting into bad mechanics by trying to go, 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 go. So, um, you know, after probably the first, you know, three, four hit, after the fourth hitter, I think in the first, I was like, all right, I, I could tell to myself that I, it was, it was a little slow. Um, and then he came in and just, he was like, Hey, uh, with your tempo, tempo is going to keep the guys behind you, you know, ready and things. And I was like, yeah, I, I was feeling it with myself that I was kind of a little a little slow and it was just like get get the ball and go from there, you know. Uh, instead of, you know, after that first inning you're in the game, you're you're it's it's getting guys out, it's going and uh that's um that's just how how I have to, you know, from the start make sure I'm more tempo oriented and realize that instead of throttling it back too much. Is there something you actually physically do to is there a movement you eliminate or something, or is it just a matter of thinking about being, you know, more efficient? Yeah, I think it's just, um, you know, getting the ball and going. Um, you know, I think a big thing for me is my breath um, and breathing. And if I if I get going too fast, my breathing goes away. If I get going too slow, I might be taking a little bit too much time in between my breaths. But uh, it's just more a matter of, you know, filling the game speed, being you know cognizant of of how it's going and um just going out there and keeping those guys inter interactive and like ready to go you know you don't want your defense to fall asleep behind you and and a bad tempo can do that so just being aware and having that sense <laughs> will are you surprised that shelty took you out when you did and you feel like you still had you know some some stuff left there i mean i was i was good to go um but we got, I, I think everyone knows our bullpen is incredible. Um, and we're trying to win a ball game. We're trying to go out here, win a ball game every time we're playing. And, uh, you know, I had a 10 pitch AB um, guy, guy gets on and, you know, Bedner, freaking Richie, those guys in the back end of the bullpen, they're incredible. And, uh, you know, I get it. It's, you, we're trying to win a ball game and I understand that completely. And um, that's what we're trying to do. And, and I had all the, all the, you know, I knew that Bender was going to get out of it. I had all the confidence in him. And so did Shelty. That's why he brings him in that situation. You know, it didn't go our way today. But um, those guys have shown for however 60 plus games that they're dominant out there. And um, that's, you go to those guys when you need to. Anything else for Will? I got well, well, how did you not put pressure on yourself given the circumstances? I mean, you come in, Cahill just went on the IL, Mitch went down to the minors. You know, there, there's you could have put a lot of the weight of the world on you. In this case, it seemed like you were more relaxed than ever. Yeah, I mean, you just you just trust trust yourself. You know, I I uh, I know my last start before today wasn't great, but you know it happens sometimes. I was out of my mechanics, out of things, and to me, this is like I said earlier, this is a kid's game, and we get to play it for a living. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing every day we get to go out there and lace them up and, and play. So for me, I just try not to put too much pressure on myself, be relaxed as I can be, enjoy the moment, 
and uh, play the game that I love, you know. And um, that's the only that's the only thing I can say. I don't I don't the pressure. The, I'm I'm done with the pressure. The, I'm I'm good with that. I, I I just like going out there having fun and playing the game. All right, guys. I'll be back with Jacob here in a little bit. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Good to go. Hey, Jake. Um, I just kind of want to start with the pitching stuff here. If, if um, was there any talk before the inning about uh, where Crow's runway was going to be at uh, heading into the sixth, and, and uh, were you a little surprised to see him come out there? Uh, no, I wasn't a part of any conversation, and uh, that's not abnormal. I, uh, I don't make pitching uh, decisions, but um, well, I wasn't necessarily surprised. No, I mean, long at bat, hard at bat. And uh, I believe the top of the order was uh, coming through again. So um, I, no, I wasn't surprised or anything like that. Did you see anything really enhanced for Crow um, from his last two times out? I know the results were there, but was there anything you saw from him that just looked different? Um, I thought he was really good. You know, I, I, his slider was really good today. Um, and the fastball was really jumping out of his hand. Uh, I just thought his stuff was really good, and he threw some really good changeups too. So um, I, thought, I thought he looked good, and, um, you know, maybe just overall command was, was better than the previous two. I mean, he was, he was really throwing the ball well, and, and, uh, you know, gave us a chance and got, you know, pretty deep into the game. So it was, he was he was good. On top of, of what you said he was doing well, Crow, um, what sort of made him most efficient? Yeah, I mean, he had a long first. Uh, he kind of threw a lot of pitches in the first and um, really came back out in the second and set the tone and um, just filled up the zone. And, you know, like I said, his stuff was really good today and, and – I just thought he filled up his own really well and um, just let his stuff play. And, and uh, yeah, he was good. Jake, were you expecting to get a breaking ball on the first pitch in your home run? It looked like it. Um, I wasn't sitting breaking ball or anything. Um, I just kind of reacted to it and, um, you know, obviously hit it well. And thank goodness. Jackie Bradley didn't do what Jackie Bradley does and, and rob me, but um, no, I, I wasn't sitting breaking ball. I was just uh, trying to get a pitch to hit, honestly, because he threw me he threw me really well my first two at-bats. I just really didn't feel like I got much to hit and uh, just trying to hit the first, first good pitch I saw. Jake, did you see Will tire toward the end of that 10 pitch at bat? Like that's what Shelty told us that that at bat kind of did him in. Did you notice anything different? And if so, what um, as that at bat dragged on? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I uh, if I saw him get tired necessarily. I just think it was a really long at bat, and uh, I thought he executed pretty well the whole at bat. Um, but, you know, it's just it is hot out there in the sun. And, um, you know, I, I guess you'd have to ask Will if he got tired. But after a long at bat like that, it's, uh, it, it's certainly taxing. And um, so I guess I don't know but is the best way to answer that. Anything else, guys? We're good? Jake. Um... Can you just talk about what it's like to see the pitching staff have the turnover with, you know, uh, obviously Brault and Cahill are on the IL. Mitch is in uh, AAA right now. And your guys are kind of going through a little bit of a makeshift mode here. Uh, they, were, they were talking about really be, needing to be more efficient with their outs and going deeper into starts to kind of take some of the stress off the bullpen. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've, I've referenced it a lot before. Um, it, it's kind of the injuries are going on throughout the league. Um, we're certainly not the only staff that is 
having to mix, mix and match or lineup that's having to mix and match. So, um, you know, yeah, our starters need, you know, need to get deeper into games and need to be more efficient. Um, it, you know, it was, it, uh, it was tough for me to, to see Mitch go down. Um, I, I wasn't even aware until uh, I was warming up for the game or right before I was warming up for the game yesterday. Um, but, um, you know, so I think he has a good plan going down there, but, um, you know, it's just, I think that's just kind of how it's going to be this year, Kev, you know, it's, uh, it's going on throughout the league and it's, it's certainly not just us. And, um, but, you know, with that said, I think the guys who have come up have done a really nice job for us overall. I mean, yeah, Hooray, Ponce, Chase, and, and Crow. I mean, they've all come up and done nice jobs for us. So um, hopefully we can continue to get that from those guys. All right, guys. Cool. Thanks, Thanks so guys. much. Appreciate it.